this isn't your first American record, but is this the first time, is it safe to say that this is the first time you broke three in one day? Uh, definitely, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool to think about. Um, I know when Dina ran her record, she also hit a lot, and Root was a really fast day. So yeah, those days don't come around too often. I feel um, lucky to be able to be in this race because it was so deep, um, and the course is so fast that everything just kind of came together. Uh, definitely good confidence. I'd say our buildup starts after this. Uh, we'll take a few days to recover, and then <clears throat> we were trying to keep a few faster workouts in beforehand to get ready for this race. So it'll be the marathon grind from now on. <laughs> so it's good to go into it knowing you're you're fit at the start. Thanks. And just one more question for me is that you move a little cold. Yeah, it was a little chillier than I thought it would be in Texas, but it was good racing weather, so, <laughs> yeah. All right, I think, um, well, just, if you look at the field you have in Boston, it's Jordan, who's run 220, and Shalane, Des, and myself, and I think everyone's excited about that matchup because all of us have something interesting to offer in the marathon that gives us a shot at a win, so um, <clears throat> I think that's, that's probably depth in the U.S. on the women's side that you haven't seen before. So that's always exciting, and um, I think that's elevating our profile a lot. So it's going to be, you know, that's I love that when you go into a race with good competition and everyone's talking about it. It's exciting. Was there a point in this race where you, you sort of felt very confident that you could uh, break that record or maybe even threaten for a top minute? I knew we were going really well through 10 miles, but then, and I felt good. Um, about the record, but then I kind of blew up when they dropped me there, <laughs> the top six women, so I was worried then. Um, once I was dropped off the pack, I wasn't with anyone, racing anyone, and that's when I kind of um, gained a lot of seconds because I was already hurting. So I, I was actually worried about it the last three miles that I would kind of lose it. You've, uh, you've talked about being pushed through races and, and joked about being dragged through races sometimes. Uh, how did this race feel? I definitely was dragged. Um, it was it was a really great opportunity, though. I kept reminding myself that, I mean, this has to be one of the deepest halves in the country for women um, ever. And to be in that race and to be fit and ready for it is, is lucky. It's awesome. Um, so even when I was hurting, I was like, just hang on to these women. Like, that they're all here today right now is, like, set up perfectly well to run fast for all of us. You have to take advantage of that um, and not be scared and, and really just try and hang on another mile, try and hang on another mile. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a great day for the women. I think I made it through 10 and then I knew I had, you know, basically a 5K left. So I thought, just this is a 5K race right now. It's not a half marathon. You know, I just raced this last 5K. And um, I was trying to catch, a, there was a guy ahead of me and then a guy came up behind me and ran with me for a little bit the last mile, which was nice because I think I was slowing him down, but he was, he was helping me a little bit stay on pace. Um, so I think I slowed down to like 5.14 for the uh, 11th mile and, and that was, I didn't want to do that again, so I needed to target. Um, so I was definitely trying to use anyone around me to, to latch onto in the race. Um, but yeah, I was feeling rough. <laughs> So did you have like your a GPS watch the whole time telling you what your splits were? Um, I did have a GPS, but the the um, splits on the course were like more accurate. Okay. So I was just using that. But I mean, honestly, like the women I was running with, they, we were clicking off like 505 to 508 um, the whole way. And I was just trying to stay as comfortable as I could in the back of that pack. And then I just didn't really have to think about anything until I fell off. And, and you were, you're gunning for the American record, but was there a certain time in your head that you were targeting, or was it all about just breaking Dina's time? Um, I was trying to race. I mean, I, I wanted to first and foremost remember it was a race. I knew I was in over my head, so the record, if I fell off, was kind of like, okay, then focus on that. Um, if we were going really slow, I probably would have, you know, tried to get back on record pace, but I didn't have to even worry about that. So, yeah, I was just trying to hold my own. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely did um, a bit more strength work before this than my last few half marathons. Um, it was a similar build-up, though. Um, I just did kind of this, we called it a soft marathon build-up before this, and then really going into the Boston build-up after. So I was hoping the strength would help me out a little bit. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, I I don't know if I felt as good, but um, I've never done a half where we go out so hard from the, from the gun. Like, I've run New York half um, many times, but it's usually a little slow in the beginning when we warm up and do it. So that's a whole nother, you know, it was a whole nother level of racing for me today to really test my limits. And um, I knew the bottom would kind of fall out eventually, despite all the strength work I was doing, just because it was fast for me. But yeah, it was fun to like, see what, see where the line was for me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. A lot, um, just, I think that it's Dina's record is is what makes it um, really, uh, just to be in the company of Dina Castor, who's had such a great marathon career, that gives me a lot of confidence, and that's a really special thing. Um, I do think, you know, we're, the women's marathoners and half marathoners in the U.S. are so good right now. Like, I still don't feel like that record's out of reach, so <laughs> I moved it down a little bit, but it's still, I think there's a couple women that could still gun for it. Um, but yeah, Dina has really set the bar high for us, so that was that was pretty cool to be able to do that. Yeah, you did kind of notice that I, I um, it wasn't too cold in the beginning, and then we got into kind of the shadier part of the city towards the end, and I did feel like my legs were a little chilly, so um, I think for a half marathon pace, you were, you were just okay for it. If it was maybe a shorter event, you would have really felt it. Um, it, was, it was good. It was better than being too hot, but yeah, it was on the cold side, for sure. Uh, it is different when you have a mixed race versus an all this race. It kind of did a dynamic changes, so um, that is cool to have to have both records. Um, it is it's different since they split it up the last few years, but um, it's just yeah. I feel like every time I um, put the record out there and go for it and either fall short or win, it's, it's just a day I test myself. So. Um, it's good to come away with something in the end, even if you don't come away with the win. And I feel like the records do that for me, both women's only and uh, overall records. So um, it's pretty cool stat to think about. Hey Molly, congrats on the nice race. Uh, good question. Looking forward to Boston. It's going to be one of the all-time great American fields. Uh, in your mind, who should be the favorite? Is it Shalane with her experience, Jordan with her quick young times, or you being the half marathon record holder? Uh, I really think like with all all of us, we bring something different to the marathon, like a different strength. So um, like Jordan is rising, has run so fast her last two races, um, and Shalane is kind of a hometown hero in Boston and has run the course so many times. And Des has run her best ever marathons in Boston. She that course is made for her. So. Um, <clears throat> I guess I bring the speed component to it. So you just don't know who's, that's why it's interesting. You don't know what's going to win out in the end. Um, so yeah, it's cool. It's it's going to be a good battle. Um, Molly, stay